This video will show you how to use the Activity Bank feature when creating or editing lessons from my library. From my library, you'll see that you'll be able to create your own lessons, and then you also have all the lessons that you've added from your pods library and your library available. When you want to add an activity from the Activity Bank, you can do that when you're creating your own lesson or when you're customizing or editing one of our lessons. I'm going to show you this by editing a lesson that I already have in my library. I'm going to hover over this lesson, Newton's Laws of Motion, with my mouse or trackpad, and then choose the edit option on the left-hand side. This will take me into the lesson so that I can add additional slides and make customizations. I'm going to add a slide because I want to add an activity. Next to content, I'm going to choose the activity tab. I'm going to see all the activities that I have available to me when creating a Nearpod lesson. The activity banks are available for time to climb, matching pairs, and draw activities. I'm going to show this feature utilizing the matching pairs activity. When I click on the matching pairs activity, it'll take me to where I could certainly create my own matching pairs activity from scratch. And on the right hand side, you will see the option that I'll be able to add activities by searching or by filtering as well by subject or grade level. I'm going to search by topic. I'm going to see all of the activities that are available for this topic. I'm going to choose what I'm interested by clicking on it. And the matching pairs activity will be populated here. You can see that I can certainly add additional pairs. And when I click on a pair, I'm also able to delete that pair if I so choose. When I'm ready, I can simply click Save. You can always click this arrow to see your matching pairs activities again. And if you decide you want a different one, you can simply just click on that and it'll populate that activity instead. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And that activity will now be added into my lesson. I can certainly move it to where I would like. And that's how you add an activity using our activity bank in your pod. Happy teaching.